I'm going to give you guys in this video an indicator that I have been using to give me 10 times more confidence when taking a trade and also has allowed me to get really precise entries. And if you guys are serious about your trading, give me the next 10 to 15 minutes of your time to watch this whole entire video. And can I be real with you guys for one second? If you cannot dedicate 10 to 15 minutes to learn about a new indicator that will help you with your entries, you're never going to be successful when it comes to trading. Why? Because trading does require a lot of patience. And if you can't sit down for 15 minutes and watch a video and dissect this information, how are you going to be able to sit in front of a chart for hours waiting for your setup to appear? And one more thing, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button below and also like this video. And if you guys want my one on one mentorship, message me the word mentorship on Instagram and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now, without further ado, let's make some money. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome into my computer. The first thing that we want to do is obviously go to tradingview.com, but you guys want to go to indicators and you want to type in EMA and you want to add moving average exponential. Once you do that, you're going to go to the side right here where it says the settings and I'm going to click it. And for the inputs, for the length, you want to put it at 20. All this other stuff down here is fine. The style, I have mine in yellow with the opacity all the way up. And then I have the thickness on number two. You can see right here behind the chart, if I move the thickness up, it'll make it bigger and bigger. I like the second thickness. I think it's the perfect size. So if you guys want to change it to maybe black, blue, I like it on yellow. It tends to stand out, especially on a white background chart. So after I did that, you guys can see I have my 20 EMA on my chart. If you guys want to go and change the color, maybe like blue, it stands out a little bit more for you, you can do that. I think I'm actually going to keep mine on blue because it seems to stand out a little bit more than the yellow. So we'll have it on blue so we can see it. And the thickness, if you guys look at the chart, you can see it gets thicker as I make it bigger. I just like the second one, it's perfect size. After you do that, click OK. Now you guys can see we have this blue line on our chart. Usually with the indicators, the way that most people use them is if the candles are above the EMA like this, that's signaling that we're in an uptrend. If the candles are below the EMAs, that's signaling we're in a downtrend. I've noticed that price will come and hit the 20 EMA like it did right here. Notice our 20 EMA. We had this massive bullish candle push up for a higher high. Then we had a higher low form right at the 20 EMA and look how the bodies of the candles, the candles went through the EMA at one point in time, but the body, this filled part actually closed above the EMA. So if I see anything like that happening where the candles are just coming and hitting the EMA and they're rejecting it, that's going to give me a really clean setup. And on my previous video or one of my previous videos, I showed you guys the fair value gaps. We actually have this fair value gap from this point right here to here and price actually came into that fair value gap, broke above it, made that gap right here. Price came into it. And look, I think if we get the 50% level from right here to here and we mark up the 50% level right here, delete this we can see that the 20 EMA is right at the 50% level where our fair value gap is. So that's indicating that this is also a clear entry. So the thing about using the 20 EMA to find your entries is you can also find confluences. And if you find multiple confluences, that's only going to add more confidence to your trade. Now let's go to another pair and see if we can find another setup with the 20 EMA. Check this out guys. We have our 20 EMA. By the way, we are looking at NAS 100 right here. We have our 20 EMA. Look how price the candles moved above the 20 EMA right here. They started to push up. It's just forming this really clear uptrend. These really small higher highs and higher lows, higher highs. And then we have this candle wick the 20 EMA like this. Once again, if we are seeing candles wick the 20 EMA like this, you it's like 
it's not smart for you to enter a trade when the candle is hitting the 20 EMA like this because it could go down at any point unless you have some type of context that's showing you that it could be a setup and actually we can see if we zoom in here look at this guys what do we have right here we have a fair value gap right here so now we have two confluences we have the fair value gap Price is coming in hitting that fair value gap and right here's our 20 EMA. So as soon as price comes down and hits that fair value gap and hits the 20 EMA, we could be a potential buyer. And this is how your trade would ideally be set up. Let's even out the chart. Let's put a long position. Say we went long right here. Stops, we could have it right below. Let me add the cross so it's a little bit more clear. We could have our stops right below this low right here. And then for our TP, we can look to the left, structure leaves clues. We actually have this previous high right here. So ideally, this is where we would want price to go to. And look at this setup right here. A 4 to 7 risk to reward ratio on NAS 100. That's what you guys want to see. When you are getting these entries, you want to be... This is the way that I have been looking at my entries lately. I want to be buying when the candles are bearish and I want to be selling when the candles are bullish. So a lot of traders, and this is right after the market opened. Let me delete this real quick. Look at the time right here, guys. On this candle, look at the bottom right here where it has a time. This candle opens at 9.45 a.m closes at 10 a.m so throughout this time from 9 45 to 10 a.m we are getting our entry and this is 15 minutes after this candle it opened 15 minutes after the market opened and that's what i mentioned all the time that's our period or a time period the window of time that we want to be looking for a trade from 9 30 a.m to 10 a.m est obviously if you guys don't have make sure your time is set for ust5 on new york that's when we want to be looking for a trade between that time window guys so we can see price comes down hits it pushes away now let's go to us 30 and let's see if we can find another setup with the 20 ema what do we have right here we have this bullish candle and like i mentioned a second ago we want to be selling on up candles bullish candles and we want to be buying on bearish candles Yo, if you guys are looking to scale your trading business and you want to get to the next level, whether you're just starting out or you already have some experience in the trading industry, you need to join us at Reward Over Risk. We have a bunch of programs like one-on-one -on -one mentorship where I actually have a 10-day class where I show you my exact strategies. We have live trading sessions where we get on Zoom calls and trade together as a community. And we also have trading softwares that can trade 100% hands-free for you. We have everything that you need to take over to your trading this year and the following years. But the only way for you to apply for this is to click the link in the description and book a phone call. Once again, click the link in the description, book a phone call, and let's see if you're a good fit to be a part of our community. Talk soon. And look at the time as well. This candle is from 10 a.m. to 10.15 since I am on the minute 15 time frame. Price comes up hits our 20 EMA and we can even enter right here on this candle as well. And what I'm going to show you is we actually have a fair value gap within both of these candles. So ideally if we're looking at this candle right here, we have a fair value gap. It's kind of small, but from right here to here, we have this fair value gap. Let me stretch this out a little. Boom. And usually I don't like to enter on these like small fair value gaps. I like it to be a little bit chunkier. But ideally, this is a fair value gap right here. Price comes down to form a lower low, lower high. Within that lower high, we have our fair value gap. Price hits the 20 EMA, and boom, we could be a seller right at this fair value gap. Now, the next candle, too, look at it comes up. What do we see with our fair value gaps? We want to see price break, want to see it dig or push up like this and make it. A, we want it to see it for a dumb. For a bullish fair value gap, we want to see price dig to the downside for a bearish fair value gap we want to see price pierce to the upside so look it pierces to the upside look to the left structure leaves clues from this candle's high or that candle's low to this candle's high extend into the future what happens price comes down to form a lower low we have a lower high within that lower high we have our fair value gap we could be a seller in here once it hits the bottom part the halfway point or the top part and then it comes and it hits 
that 20 EMA. Now I want you guys to understand the logic behind what is going on here. Why does this candle have such a massive wick? When we see candles with massive wicks like that, you guys really need to understand like what is the logic behind as to why it's doing that. Well, the market will push up very aggressively because there's a lot of retail traders and retail traders are better known as just beginner traders, traders that don't have enough information on trading. They don't understand how the markets work and they buy off pure emotion. So what the market makers do, the big dogs that basically control the markets is what do they do? They're pushing the market up. And this happened most likely at a very fast, like this happened very quickly, this push up. And within this wick, you guys need to understand that this wick, it was all filled green at one point in time, all the way up here. And I used to trade like this years ago, where I would see the market making this massive move. And I was just screaming to myself, buy, 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 it's going to go up, it's shooting up. And what happens in this wick? People are buying, 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 buying. So there's all this volume of buyers going into the market. And then the smart traders like me and you guys watching this video, we're like, bro, this is a false breakout. It's going to trap everyone into, into buys. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be selling all in here. So at our fair value gap, what are we doing? We're getting really nice sells all in here. And ideally what you could do is you could use our previous fair value gap and extend it into the future too. So we have this fair value gap and this one. So you could get an entry here and also really nice OTE and optimal trade entry here. So that's what you guys need to understand is when you see price form these wicks like this, bro, it's a false breakout. It's doing that to trap people into short positions so the market makers can get a more optimal entry and then they can push it down even further. So that's what I wanted to show you guys in this video. I kind of gave you guys some more gems and added some stuff in that you guys needed to see, but rewatch this video. It's just like watching a movie. Once you watch a movie for the first time, you don't see as many things. But then you watch the movie for a second time and you're like, wait, I never noticed that that happened. Wait, that happened? How did I not see that before? So just as if you guys go back and rewatch this video or my other videos, guys, you're going to learn and see something new every single time. And the best advice that I can give you guys is focus on one trader to learn from. Because my trading style is different from a lot of other traders on YouTube. So if you're watching somebody else's YouTube videos about trading and somebody else's and mine, you have three different opinions. And there may be people that are telling you, don't trade at the market open, it's too risky. And then I'm telling you the best times to trade are from 9.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. If you guys like the way that I teach and of course the way that I look and the way that I talk, like you guys may be laughing, but that shit's important. There's some people that I watch and I'm simply like, bro, I don't like the way that this person talks and their teaching style is horrible. I can't even understand it. But the best thing that you guys can do if you really are serious about your trading is focus on one person. Just watch that one person's videos over and over and over again. Get their mentorship. Learn from them because it's going to just block out a lot of confusion for you guys. So that's what I wanted to go over in this video. Once again, if you guys want my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, Follow me on Instagram and just shoot me a message and then we'll get on a phone call. Like we can honestly get on a quick phone call. We'll see where you're at with your trading. Overall, I want to hear about your goals, why you're even trading in the first place. I just want to get to know you a little bit better to see if we would be a good fit to work with each other in the first place. So shoot me a message if that's you, if you want to level up your trading and I will see you guys later. Peace out. Not a lot of people made it to the end of the video, but you did. Make sure you share this video with a friend. Also, comment below. I want to know who you guys are and how I can help you guys out with your trading. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm dropping weekly videos every single week on trading to help you guys out. Look forward to seeing you guys soon.